Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to save your data in the SQLite database using your C++ Qt GUI application. In this video, I will show you how to edit your data in the database. So I have this data in the database for example and I want to change the age of employee ID 1 mark for example. His age is right now 33 and for some reason I uh, miss uh, uh, interpreted his age and I want to change his age for example 43 here. So how can I edit my data in the database using my Qt application? I will show you this in this video. So what I will do is I will take a push button here. I will rename this push button. So I will name it as push button underscore edit. And I will also change the label or text of this button which should be update for example and let me change the font a little so that it's visible okay so this is our update button and I will just right click this button and I will click go to slot as I will select clicked function from here and click OK and I reach to the push button added clicked event here and if you have seen my last video in which I have shown you how to save your data in the database using your Qt GUI application I'm going to use the same code from the last video in order to save time so what I will do is I will go to my form I will select my save button I will just right click it go to slot click OK and I will copy all the code from my save button click event all the code I will copy and paste it here in the push button edit click event paste the same code and in here we are going to change two things one is the query and one is the message so let's edit the code so I will delete the query but because this was for the saving data into the database and I will write the new query here so in this code where you have written query dot prepare statement inside the brackets we will write a new query so for editing the data we, we will write the query update your info so what uh, update your table name so what is my table name here where is my database here is my database okay so my database table name is employee info so I will copy it and I will paste it here so my query is update my table name and then I will write set and then in the last video if you have seen I am uh, taking the values which I am entering in the text boxes into these string variables EID name surname and age which are these string variables Q, t Q string variables and here I will write first of all the column name in which I want to edit the data so column name is EID name surname and age okay so I will write the column name first first column name is EID is equal to then the value I want to show or uh, save new value whatever I want to save uh, the value so I will write EID then single quote and inside this double quotes and inside plus plus and I will pass this employee ID string here 
which I am taking from the text box. Same thing I will do it for name, surname and age also. So second is name is equal to single quote, double quotes and plus plus and pass the same name string here, comma, surname is equal to single quotes and double quotes plus plus and the surname and the last is the age so age is equal to single quote then double quote not plus plus but double quote plus plus and my string age variable so copy this string age variable pass it here and our query is complete so what I have written my query update your table name then set then your column name in which you want to set the value is equal to the value you want to set okay EID is equal to the value you want to set then name surname and age same thing you should do for all the four columns and then if your query executes then you want to change this message now your message should be add it this is the title and this should be updated or whatever you want to show the message here in the message box so this is mostly the code from the last video what I have done is I have changed the query and I have changed the message which I want to show let's try and run the program and see whether I should be able to edit my code or not so save all build the code and run the code and let me open the database also here is my database and it's building let's see yeah my application is running now and first of all login ID and username so login and I have come to the second page and for example I want to show the data of this employee ID 1 so uh, I am not happy with the age of this employee ID which is 33 right now I want to change his age so what I will do is employee ID 1 his name is Mark so I will let it be and his surname is Henry and his age instead of 33 I want to change it to 44 for example okay now the new age is 44 and now I will click this button update so I will click it and you see here it's showing me primary key must be unique and it's unable to fetch the row so let's see what is the error so this is uh, showing me error so let's check what I have missed maybe in the query so I have my query update my table name set all the values but I think I should add here because it doesn't know where to set these values right so I should give a more one more condition after your query ends here after setting every value and go at the last and write here where your EID which is employee ID which is also your primary key just copy this employee ID is equal to single quote double quote and just after where just paste it here so now it should know where to set the values right earlier what we are doing is we are setting the values but where we are setting the values the program doesn't know so I uh, added this one more clause where EID which is employee ID which is my primary key is equal to whatever I'm entering in my line edit 
and now let's run the program once again go to the database and let's check if it will run or not give the username and password and I just want to change the data of employee ID 1 so I will write EID 1 first of all surname surname is Henry and the name is Mark and the age instead of 33 I am writing 43 for example and I will click update button and now it's updated so there is no error here and when I uh, refresh my database right now it's 33 and when I refresh my database you see here the data of Mark is changed and by mistake I think I have entered the name Mark at wrong it's M E M A E K something else because here the name is name I entered is also wrong so mark Henry updated once again and just refresh this database and just see here it's updating the database so in this way you can update the database using your Qt C++ GUI application and SQLite database I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye.